This right here is an electric motor. Now, this is a one horsepower AC electric motor. I pick it up, and you notice it's running, right? Am I right? It's running? Now, the interesting thing about this motor is that the wires are cut. So how does the motor run if the wires are cut? Where would the energy input be? How many people know if you're going to get energy out of a mechanical device, you have to have energy coming into a mechanical device to do that? It's the laws of physics. So this can't be right, that this is running with no power source. There has to be an energy source, so let's look for it. There it is right there. It's a 9-volt flashlight battery. Now, does anybody here know that you can't run a 1-horsepower AC motor on a 9-volt flashlight battery? Any technical people here should know that. But see, it's running, isn't it? And watch what happens when I disconnect one terminal from the battery. It stops. And then when I reconnect them, what does it do? It takes off running again. Well, you know why? Because if you build motors right and you wind them properly, you can run a one horsepower AC motor on a nine volt flashlight battery. That's if you wind them properly. Anybody hear about garbage in, garbage out on computers? It works the same way with universities. If you're going to teach people to wind them wrong and tell them that's the right way to wind them, no one's going to get this. But see, all we do is just rewind the motor and we can rewind it right. Now, why do you think people deliberately wind motors improperly? Why do you think they would do that? The reason for that is they want it to use more electricity than it actually needs to get the job done. Who's that good for? Electric company. Now, this is a well-known good old boy routine. It's called you lie and I'll swear to it. So the electric utility company, somebody said, well, is that a conspiracy? I can't, I'll never get used to the fact that I know Christians in this country who are wondering if there's a conspiracy in this country or not. You got a devil and demons and you got the good guys and the angels and you're wondering if there's a conspiracy. Well, let me put your mind to rest right now. Yes, indeed, there's a conspiracy, and they're conspiring to cheat you, the consumer. Is there fraud going on? Yes, there is a fraud. So if you came here tonight to see a fraud, I, gotta, I don't want to disappoint you. I'm going to show you a fraud. The fraud is General Electric, Westinghouse, Dayton Motors, all the people winding motors are deliberately defrauding and cheating the American people. Isn't that amazing I'm standing here saying that? I've done it for about 15 years now on national tours. I've never been sued by General Electric. Isn't that interesting? You know why I was never sued? They don't want me to prove this in a court of law. So let's let me go turn people on and tell some people about it.